here talking to Nazlijam Hamdan from Street View Malaysia and Professor Ahmad Ismail from the MNS. Um, we're here because Street View Malaysia has just completed their footage of Gunung Tahan in time for Malaysia Day 2016. So, um, could you tell us more about it? What's going on? Oh yeah, I mean uh, we're here to you know to discuss about the Gunung Tahan collection for Street mm -hmm. View. So I think with the help of MNS, we mm -hmm. managed to capture Gunung Tahan from the Marapu entrance mm -hmm. and to Kuala Tahan exit. Okay. Yeah. So it's the whole trail the up whole and down. Trail, yeah. yeah, close to I think approximately close to ninety kilometer trekking. Ninety kilometer. Yeah. Through forest. Yes. Okay. How long did it take you to go through that? Uh, in total, because uh, we have to factor in the weather, right? Mm -hmm. You know, the speed uh, while you carry. Uh, heavy equipment because mm -hmm. you need to prepare for all the batteries for the mm -hmm. trackers uh, and all the food mm -hmm. and logistics so the pace is about 10 km per day so for the total close to 100 km it took us 10 days for the whole duration 10 days just to cover 90 yeah. kilometers. Yeah. It's very slow. This sounds like a huge operation. It's, it's very huge. To be honest, uh, in Street View Malaysia, mm -hmm. I think this is the most challenging uh, site that uh, we collect so far. Yeah. Really? You, yeah. And after Gunung Kinabalu? After Gunung Kinabalu. Because uh, Gunung Kinabalu, even though the highest uh, mountain in Malaysia, right? Mm -hmm. But uh, the, in terms of the logistics, you don't have to carry your tent. Mm -hmm. You don't have to cook. Uh, because we do have resort on the few kilometers before the summit in Laban Rata, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, but Mount Tahan, uh, the, in terms of the logistics and support, you have to prepare everything from the beginning. So you had to carry all your yeah. own food, all your tents, all yes. your spare clothes, everything yeah. in. And you know, you have to have uh, a good cook in your team <laughs> to make sure that you can still enjoy the food okay. inside the jungle. So, so this sounds like a huge... How, how many of you went in? Uh, in total, we have 10 of us, mm -hmm. in, in, including uh, a few volunteers okay. that are uh, you know, willing to, to come and help us for the operation. So, uh, were they all from Street View? Uh, no, for st from Street View, it's only two of us. Okay. Yeah, then the rest is from, uh, I think, uh, volunteers from uh, MNS mm -hmm. and uh, from the guide itself, the Pahil yes. Tang guide. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, you took MNS people to help you on these things. Uh, for you also did it with the Langkawi trip. Um, how often does Street View work with MNS? Uh, I think uh, having uh. MNS as a nature society, right? Mm -hmm. So, uh, every place or every site that uh, we think it's important or it's good for us to work with MNS in mm -hmm. terms of to, to blend the skill that mm -hmm. they have and the technologies that we have. Mm -hmm. uh, we try to just continue the collaboration in the mm -hmm. future. Yeah. Uh, so, Prof, so, uh, how do you find MNS people to go along with Street View? Do you just like regular people? No, we, ha we, ha we have an experience before with Panel for Nature yeah. program right, with Google. Uh, at that time, we tried to work on coastal area. Mm -hmm. I think we have done good uh, report on that. Right? We, we record all those uh, activities and nature mm -hmm. and so on. What are important of the mm -hmm. uh, coastal environment can benefit all. But not many people can go through uh, all the way from uh, Pangkaran Kobo mm -hmm. uh, near Kelantan there and then right to Langkawi, yeah. down south and go up again. Mm -hmm. and, but through Google, and now many people can see what's happening along the coastal area. And through this uh, uh, Gunung Tahan is another, uh, can say, achievement with Google and MNS, so that we can uh, show to people about conservation and why we need the protection, right? Uh, we know now number of people are increasing. They like to go up. Uh, this is very important to conserve and protect the environment. If too many people, then we might disturb the forest and the, 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 the soil structure and so on. And plus maybe, uh, now we are in good control. Uh, rubbish, for example, uh, if we bring up food, uh, we bring plastic, and then some people are not disciplined enough. Uh, and we, can, we have to spend more uh, people, more time, uh, maybe money, uh, to enforce the rules and regulations that we set up. So maybe through this collaboration, we can uh, uh, limit people, not, not to discourage them to go up, but to educate them more towards how to uh, protect and conserve the highland forests like uh, Gunung Tahan. Mm. So uh, why did you choose Gunung Tahan this time around for Asia Day? Um, so I think uh, Gunung Tahan is very iconic, uh, you know, 
for Malaysian people, right? Mm -hmm. You know, everybody, or maybe if you talk to those who like to do outdoors activity, mm -hmm. Gunung Tahan is in their wish list. But I think half of them, or maybe thirty percent of them, only you know manage to climb up Gunung Tahan, okay. because uh, having the toughest mountain to be climbed in Malaysia, I think you need to prepare maybe. Uh, to take off day, if let's say you work, you have to take uh, ten day off. You know, it's something that not everyone can do. That uh, having said that, your daily routine, you have to prepare. Yeah, right. Prepare. Fitness is very important. Yeah, then uh, come your fitness, and you know you cannot go Gunung Tahan just like that. You have to uh, get permission from the the Pahiritan guy. You know, the the time must be good. The weather must be good. So I think, uh, but this is one of the important side that if we have street view, mm -hmm. where people can just you know uh, at least visually conquer Gunung Tahan using the street view apps and in on Google Maps, is something that you know everybody is is uh, is looking forward to have that. Yeah. Or at worst, they can just use the street view as a guide on the trail to go up. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So what was it like to go up Gunung Tahan and come down with all your equipment? Uh, it's really tough. <laughs> it's really <laughs> tough. So technically, you know, the trail is is uh, going up and down, mm -hmm. and uh, it can be as stiff as uh, seventy degree. Seventy degree. Yes. So it's almost a vertical climb. Yes. Yeah. So it's it's mix of technical climbing as well, where you have to sometimes uh, uh, use your all your you know hands and leg to make sure that you're stable to climb in in some section, which is uh, too difficult. Uh, to explain here. Yeah. <laughs> to explain yeah. here. Yeah. Okay. Through your, your Google Street, you can see that. Yes, yeah. yeah. So this is very important. Why, uh, for MNS, uh, what we are concerned about nature and understanding about nature, uh, conservation and protection. So, by having this kind of activity, people can see. Before you go there, uh, you can learn. You know, uh, not just a story, but you, you can Google and get the information. And when you go there, you have a pre uh, advanced knowledge you know, before you go there. So then you can you can get ready, and you know where to stop, where to see, what to see. It's more focused rather than just walking along the trail. Mm -hmm. I think it's very good information. Yeah, good. yeah. I think people can set uh, the expectation, right? Yeah. You know, let's say uh, I I've been there, mm -hmm. so I come back and share with my friend. Oh, actually, it's difficult to climb Gunung Tahan because of this, because of that. Maybe the expectation is is not as what I want. Right? I I want them to be prepared, but they see that oh maybe it's not that difficult. But using the street view technology, you can virtually go there if you want Lexi to explore the whole duration, mm -hmm. the ninety kilometer trail. You mm -hmm. can, but if you want to just select a few section, mm -hmm. you can also right. You just select which is the area that you think is important for you to evaluate before mm -hmm. you go there. Then you can you know virtually conquer Gunung Tahan using the street view. Uh, but you, it must have been so much harder because you're carrying the tracker to take the picture. As well. I mean, we have a team to work uh, for, with, with the tracker as well. Yeah. I'm so much bigger if you are. Okay. Yeah. So this one is uh, something that you can, you know, okay. 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 Just like a backpack, you have to adjust the. Yeah. You know. It's not It's not it's not that bad for me because you know if you talk to the people who always go climbing, the backpack is sometimes heavier than this. I see. It's pretty cool. Yeah. One time you guys want to try? Did you have to wear the tracker while climbing as well? Uh we take the note doing that. We take the turns. Yeah. Oh, that the tracker is not light. I've, I've seen that thing. It's huge. It's, it's huge. It's mm -hmm. around 18 kilos in 18. terms of the weight. But uh, if you talk to the mount climbers, right, mm -hmm. the backpack is as heavy as that. So technically, the whole team is sharing the same weight. It's, okay. it's just a different equipment. If you carry tracker of 18 kilos, the rest mm -hmm. we carry the food of okay. 18 kilos, 15 to 18 kilos. Mm. And the other guys, we carry the batteries. You know, the weight equivalent mm -hmm. to 15 to 18 kilos as well. So it's 10 days worth of batteries. Yes. And you're shooting how many hours a day? Uh, six to seven hours a day. Six to seven hours a day. Yeah. I, I don't think our cameras can last that long. <laughs> so that's why I say, yeah. I mean, the challenge of this trip is uh, the logistic part mm -hmm. of it. Uh, any other troubles you ran into during the time? I think uh, other than that is just the weather because there is mm -hmm. one day where, you know, we prepare to move mm -hmm. to, for the next section of the collection, then the uh, come the rains, so we have to stop and you know reevaluate the schedule again. Then we just stay there okay. for next few hours mm -hmm. yeah, because you, the Gunung Tahan is something that you cannot just move uh, wherever you want and sleep uh, wherever you want, right? Mm -hmm. They have uh, some uh, campsite in between a few kilometers that you need to 
target to be there. Okay. Let's say you you start from point A, you must be in point B before certain hours. So let's say if, if the time is too short for you, you cannot go to to next point. So you have to decide that it's okay to stay here and mm -hmm. we add another day. You okay. know, so we we have to plan in in that in that manner. Oh, I see. So that's all, all the trouble you had there. Yes. Wow. Uh, so your team is a bit of Google, a bit of MNS. Do you do you have any future plans for other places from now on? I think the uh, you know the idea of Street View or mm -hmm. the direction of Google Map itself is we want to map the world, right? Yeah. You know, whatever place that people can go or people cannot go, mm -hmm. and the technology can go, we want mm -hmm. to do that. So I think uh, if you talk about uh, any place for Street View in Malaysia, of course there is a very long list. Mm -hmm. Like uh, I don't think we have underwater imagery yet okay. now, right? So. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, we will see that whether you know if we can have some underwater imagery for Street View in Malaysia. That is something that uh, interesting to have. Too. Underwater, yeah. I think a few other countries already have underwater. Don't yes, it? that's why I say. I mean, uh, underwater is not new for Street View mm -hmm. uh, worldwide. Mm -hmm. We have a few other sites uh, in other part of the world having underwater. It's just mm -hmm. uh, for Malaysia, is is yet to be stuck. Okay. Yeah. Maybe rivers, river system. Yeah, the river system. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. Well, you, you do have the uh, Street View of the river into Taman Negara, don't you? Uh, yes, I mean, in terms of uh, river street view, uh, tourism river street view like yeah. Taman Negara, you know, the, the three hours uh, yeah, the long, uh, long boat ride yeah. from Kuala Tahad to Kuala Tembeling, we okay. do have that yeah. in terms of street view. So, and I think uh, MNS for the trek on kayak thing, mm -hmm. they also covered a few rivers, yeah, rivers, yeah, yeah, yeah to river. show the mangrove area oh. yeah, in Pahang and Johor, I think, right? And in Selangor? In Selangor, yeah. yeah. Uh, speaking of the Paddle for Nature project, you also did that for scientific reasons as well, right? To collect the data on the mangroves? Yeah, you do both, not mm -hmm. just uh, mapping, yep. but uh, at the same time we do some other activities, mm -hmm. uh, tree plantings, uh, education mm -hmm. for nature, mm -hmm. uh, public awareness, mm -hmm. and many other things go together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, uh, uh, did you do anything similar for the Gunung Tahan project? Maybe collecting data. Yeah, also. I think uh, for Gunung Tahan project, as uh, Gunung uh, Street View is collecting imagery, right? Besides mm -hmm. the tracker camera, mm -hmm. uh, I think the MNS uh, volunteer that represent MNS also carry some uh, cameras that mm -hmm. they took a photo of. I think uh, yeah. small uh, thing that uh, mm -hmm. you know unique for MNS collection. Some uh, conservation yeah. point that uh, yeah, well, MNS from from the picture yeah. we can we can analyze yeah. mm -hmm. uh, what we have along the trail. Okay, mm -hmm. so it's it's not just this wasn't just street view uploading images for tourism, it's also about scientific research scientific and trying to promote this as well. Yeah, yeah we're, we're actually Malaysia is at, uh, one of the top no, 12 in the world, mm -hmm. mega biodiversity. Right? Mm -hmm. And we know now that many scientists overseas coming here. Mm -hmm. uh, in fact, there are more than local Malaysia uh, doing research on mm -hmm. nature and conservation. Mm -hmm. uh, people from Japan, scientists from Australia, America mm -hmm. and uh, European countries coming here. So by having these kind of activities, mm -hmm. uh, Google can help them to, to, to preview mm -hmm. what we have in Malaysia, then they can plan. Mm -hmm. They don't have to come here many times just to prepare mm -hmm. and then come back, write proposal and so on. Mm -hmm. So we want to encourage more international collaboration mm -hmm. uh, on nature and conservation so that we know uh, more about bio our biodiversity. And then we have many more that are not well documented. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is, is part of the Google contribution mm -hmm. in the scientific, uh, like we, we already, or, always have expedition, right? Mm -hmm. uh, this is a part of the contribution. So uh, this, when will the Gunung Tahan Street View imagery be up? Uh, I think uh, we're going to celebrate Malaysia Day on 16 September, right? Yeah. So uh, we plan, you know, we hope that everything goes well, that the imagery can be pushed live on 16 mm -hmm. September just to you know, to have something to celebrate for Malaysia Day. Okay, yeah. that's great. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I think, yeah, so thank you very much, gentlemen. Uh, I think that's thank all. You. And thank you all for watching. And thank you all for watching. <laughs>